Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create a screen capture download. This is workshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to use the screen capture API. Use the built-in display, get display media method to display a screen capture. Media recorder to record the stream and anchor tag to download. Ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript course web ID can be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client side interactive or automated web applications. Server side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications run outside a web browser. So, some of this information we went through on the previous tutorials, for example, how to do a preview, which is simply just the get display media method. And then to record it, we use the media downloader which we downloaded as a, as a blob in chunks. I explained what a blob in chunks in the previous tutorial and then for this particular tutorial we're going to get the recorded stream to be downloaded. We're going to use the anchor tag. In HTML5 the anchor tag has a download attribute so in that download attribute, attribute you put the file name as you can see down here in this table. So in this particular example if I'm downloading WebM files I just put the name I want and it will be WebM. If you, we're also going to do something a little bit different in this tutorial in that we're going to use, we're going to put some styling, basic styling. So we use CSS for that. You can put it in a separate file, but I'll just put the inline in, inside the file. And then the HTML will be here. So the only thing new for the HTML is we will add a download anchor tag. That's it. And JavaScript for the downloaded uh, file is here as well. Uh, unfortunately, because I did 1920 by 1080 or 1080p, the screenshot is a little bit small, but you can always zoom in and you should be able to see uh, all the code properly or just get the code snippets here. And then for the output, as you can see here, this is the preview window. And then this will be the recorded uh, video here. And then you see that now there's a download button. And when you download button, you download to your specified folder. And all you need to do is just, uh, you know, just hit save or change the name if you prefer. And then you can play it on your on your desktop or your whatever device you have simply by using the default video player and this is the video here so I'm going to now switch over to NetBeans IDE in order to create the code for the web browser so I'll start uh, going up and down so the first thing I'll do is I'll create some CSS rules. So I create a class called hide because we want to see the download button and the uh, the vi recorded video because they won't exist until you hit the stop button. So we want them hidden. And then I'm just going to add some default styling for the buttons. Give it a padding, 0.5 REM. I'll give a font weight bold. I'll give it a bolder, border, sorry. Solid RGB, it's all black. And the color for the text part or the label. RGBA zero zero zero, which is also black. I'll give it a background color. I'll use the button face. Give it a border radius just to give it a round rounded corners. I make it five pixels because it's pretty small. And then for the anchor, I'll give you a text decoration of none. Now when we I will give it also hover states. So 
so uh, this one I'll just give it a box shadow and the color will be black as well and the alpha state I'll give it 0 0.2 so we're done with the CSS, so starting. Then in our body here, create a button, give it a button, give it a class of start. Then I'll create a video, oops. Create a video class of preview, give it a width, I'll give it 640, give it a height of 360, set it to autoplay and muted, even though we don't use audio. Duplicate this. We don't need muted. We don't need autoplay. But I'll give it a give it controls, and I'll change this one to record, and give it another class of hide. And finally, we create our anchor tag. Give it download, and also give it hide. Say download. Okay, so we are done with that. Now we can start creating the JavaScript to control all of this. So you can always copy and paste from the article. Links are in the description. This is all from last time. This won't change. Query selector. Okay, I'll duplicate this. Change this one to preview. Change this to preview. Duplicate it again. Change this to record. Do one more for download. Okay. Just like before, the start add event listener Oops, uh, this is wrong here. Okay, let me grab the text. Target text content. Let's say if text equals record. Then dot target dot text content equals stop. Then navigator dot media devices dot get display media. We want the video true, audio false. Oh, we're not using audio. This should be a comma. Because it's a promise, 
we want to get this stream. So the preview dot source object equals stream. Then we now we need to create our media recorder. Media recorder stream. Something hold the chunks. Then what we do is we say recorder dot on data available equals event chunks dot push event data then recorder on stop equals event okay so what we do here is we get the blob or create a blob sorry based on the chunks and the type we'll get it from the first ar uh, array in the chunks then what I'll do I'll grab the subtype by using a split then the record source will be URL dot create object you are oh blob then we want to display so it'll be an inline block and we'll do the same thing for the download Give it the href will be the source. Then this is the one I was telling you about. Download the download attribute will be capture the video. I'm using the template string here. Subtype. Okay, so we're done. Then we can do record as start. So you can start seeing the preview. Else. Event.target.text. Text content equals record. And then the preview source object dot get tracks with the for each loop through all the tracks and stop them just in case these you might have multiple tracks. Okay, so we're done. Now we're going to look at a preview in a web browser. Okay, before we take a look at that, there was a little mistake here. This should be a dot, not a slash. Now in the web browser, I click record. 
I'm going to record this uh, the article. You can pick any any you can either pick a window or you can also pick uh, the entire screen. As I said, in this case, I'll just pick uh, this browser window here. As you can see, it goes there. I'm going to scroll up and down so you can see that it does actually work. You can click stop here or go back to the thing here and I can click stop up here or just I'll click stop here. And if I play this, you yeah, you can see it's, it's actually a video. So just stopped it and I click download. So in download, it asks what f uh, where it should go. So I will then say, yes, I want it to go into the downloads folder. You can change the name. I like the name. So I click save. And you see here it's finished. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up the, you see the, the file manager. And you can see that it did download it. And it's here. So if I want to play this, I can play it in my default uh, uh, desktop f uh, video player. So as you can see here, it's playing. I'm using MPV. Okay, so we'll get this out of here. See, so we go back to the article here. Uh, as I was saying, if you want to learn JavaScript, you can learn JavaScript online at jumboshop.com. You all you need is a web browser. It's very interactive. Do it on your own page 24/7. It comes already with the JavaScript and a web IDE, so all you need is a web browser. Uh, there's 20% off coupon school until the end of 2024. Uh, if you prefer an alternative or as a supplement, you can also get the ebook version uh, on Amazon. Uh, just search for Edward Jumbo. The links are in the description. And be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Or if you have any requests, just let me know. Uh, learning JavaScript uh, under references for the article, which is a jumbo, sh uh, no, jumbo .com, JavaScript hyphen screen hyphen capture hyphen API hyphen download. You can see the learning JavaScript course on jumbo.shop.com, learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you prefer something a little bit different, maybe one on one tutorials online. Or if you need help with uh, creating applications for the desktop, mobile, or web, or even just custom websites or some integration. So let me know. Uh, that's at ojumboservices.com. Uh, free quote. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.